everybody sit down in your seat and tell a teacher turn on your TV cause we about to take you higher, you're tuned in to the forest fire, the forest fire, the forest fire, the forest fire. What's up, Cancers? Welcome to The Forest Fire. I'm Austin. And Nicole. Today is Friday, December 4th, 2009. Recently, many students at our school received the swine flu vaccination. Tyler Van Mops and Mark Jessup caught up with some of these students. On November 23rd, students across Carolina Forest and other schools had the choice to receive the free H1N1 or swine flu vaccination. Reporters Mark Jessup, Tyler Van Moppis, and Paul Matt caught up with the story as it unfolded. And here we are with Alexis Van Moppis and Ronnie Moses, who just got their flu vaccine. Mm -hmm. How'd it feel? Um, it didn't hurt at first, but now it does. How about you? Straight pain! So you guys feel safer now? Anybody? Not really. How about you? I feel 100% safe. Alright, well, we got mixed reviews here. And I'm here with Dylan McDonald, who also just got the flu vaccine. And how did I feel? Uh, I felt like a shot. Just like every other shot. So yeah, do you feel any safer now that you have it? Nah. <laughs> so, I'm guessing this wasn't your decision, or was it? Uh, well, my parents wanted me to get it, so I wasn't going to argue with them. If it was my choice, I wouldn't have got it because I think that it's a government conspiracy and it's going to kill us all. And swine flu is not real, by the way. All right, so he just got a non-existent shot there. And I'm here with Brooke. She's about to get her flu vaccine. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm pretty scared. I really don't like needles. so. All right, so was this your choice to get this flu vaccine or was it your parents? It's my parents. Personally, I don't want it. Yeah, I've heard, we've heard that a lot today. So we'll check back in with you after you get your flu vaccine. Many students came from Ocean Bay, Blackwater, Scholars Academy, and AAST to Carolina Forest to get the swine flu vaccination as well. And we're back here with Brooke again, so how did that live up to your expectations? Um, it really didn't. I think it was kind of dumb. So, do you feel any safer now? No. She's got a nice little battle wound right here, so she's got something to be proud of. I'm here with Rachel, who just got the vaccine. Um, did it hurt? Yeah. Was it your choice to get this vaccine? No, it was my parents. Are you mad at your parents? Not really. <laughs> Alright, um, do you feel any safer now? No. Alright, thank you, Rachel. Alright, so I'm here with Tyler Van Moppis getting an update. How's the shot feel right now? Um, it didn't hurt at first, but now it's just like a slow, dull pain that you can ignore, but it's just staying there. And it kind of feels, uh, feels kind of weird. So it, it doesn't burn or itch or anything? No, it doesn't really burn or itch, it's just kind of an ache. Do you think it'll get any worse or better as the day goes on? Probably for the worst. Alright then, you heard it from Tyler Van Moppis. Many parents can now be satisfied with the free vaccination their kids receive. Mark, Tyler, and Paul, The Forest Fire, Myrtle Beach. Thanks guys. To get everyone in the holiday spirit, the student council will be having a winter themed door decorating contest for second block classes. Teachers and students may decorate their door on only December 9th, 10th, and 11th. All decorations must be taken down after school on December 18th. So teachers and students, please encourage other classes to participate in this fun activity because the winning class will receive an edible treat. Now let's check out what's in the inbox for more announcements. Now it's time to check the inbox. There will be Saturday school tomorrow and December 12th from 8 to 11 a.m. See Mr. Murphy for details. Spanish tutoring will be every Tuesday after school in B113 and B121. The Panther Pasta Night will be tomorrow from 4 to 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. Tickets are $15 each. The Panther Football Highlight DVD deadline has been extended until today. If you pre-order by today, it's $10 and after today, $20. You can get your forms from main office or coach hall. T-shirts and sweatshirts are for sale today in the cafeteria. The Key Club will be collecting canned goods for 2009 Christmas season. The last day is today. All members should bring in 10 canned goods. Chick-fil-A Mini Biscuits will be for sale in the cafeteria, athletic hallway, and 300 concourse. It will be $2.50 each. And that's today's inbox. All right, guys, basically business growth is going to occur in two ways. Oh, sorry I'm late. Oh, don't worry about it. Come on in. Have a seat. Too late. Mr. Analock, I saw Paul. He walked in late. I hope you're going to document that. I hope there's a stern policy for that.
companies like Nike and Reebok were to get together, that would be it. Mr. Tyler, how nice of you to join us today. Yeah. Do you not know that the bell rings? That um, means you're supposed to be in class? Yeah. Are you kidding me? No. Are you serious? Yes. My gosh. Think there are no repercussions for this kind of behavior? Get up. What? Over here. Let's go. What is this? Don't worry about what this is. This is your worst nightmare, son. Put your neck in there. Are you sure? This is what you get when you come tardy to class. All right. Well, this Let this be a lesson to everyone. Get to class on time, you arrive alive. Too heavy. What's up, Panthers? I'm Connor here with your Four Star Sports Report. Let's take a look at what's going on tonight. The boys and girls varsity basketball team will be playing Fort Dorchester home at 6 o'clock. The wrestling team will be participating in the Swamp Fox Tournament Saturday at 8.15 a.m. There's boys track preseason workouts are being held in the weight room after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. All fall sports athletes need to see their head coach at, by the end of today for your invitation to the fall sports banquet. Congratulations to Ronnie Moses for being named to the WPDE All-Zone football team. So see Ronnie, give him a pat on the back, shake his hand, and say congratulations. We caught up with Ronnie to ask him about his honor. Hey, guys. I'm here with uh, Ronnie Moses, who was selected to the uh, WPDE All-Zone team for 2009. So what, what exactly is that? Well, it's a team of 11 offensive guys and 11 defensive guys that they select from the PD and Grand Strand area. And I was picked to play wide receiver. For, for that team. And um, what, what do they do for y'all? Do they have anything? Well, we are having a banquet next Thursday, which is December the 10th, and they, like, give out a bunch of awards and a bunch of other things. And, um, well, you've gotten this award already, and uh, so any college choices you're looking at right now? Well, I mean, I've been looked at by a bunch of colleges. I mean, as if I can't even count on one hand, but not to brag, I mean, I think I'm going to play college ball at the next level, maybe at a good school. All right, well, congratulations to you in college football and this award. And uh, let's send it back to Austin in the studio. For lunch today, they'll be serving Oriental beef bowl with rice, mixed vegetables and corn, and a yeast roll. Or a barbecue sandwich with fries. Yeah. Well, that's all for today's show. Have a great weekend. Until then, thanks for watching Forest Fire, and have a fabulous Friday. <laughs> Long. <laughs>